So placing multiple images on one line side by side in WordPress uh, often trips people up, although it's actually quite straightforward to do once you know how. So the easiest way to do it is to go to insert media and then to select multiple images. And you can do that just simply by um, on a Mac, uh, hold down command as you click on the images that you want to select and that'll let you select multiple images. If you're on a PC, hold down control to select multiple images. So I've selected three here um, and it's best to select alignment none on all of them. Otherwise, you'll get into some problems. So just make sure that alignment is set to none on each of them. And then just go ahead and click insert into post. And they're all going to show up together on the same line. So it's pretty easy. So there they are. Now you'll notice that by default they sit um, flush left with the uh, side of the content area. So what if you want to, for example, center those three images in the middle of the content area? You have a couple ways you can do that. Um, you can actually use this uh, text align center button, but you have to make sure that uh, these images are contained within a paragraph for that to work. Um, this is the code and you can see there's no paragraph tags around this, but it's actually easy to do. I'm just going to put my cursor above the images. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to do the same afterwards. Once I've done that, I can then click and drag to highlight that whole area and then just click the align center um, button and it's going to align all three in the middle of that content area. There you go. And if we just take a quick look at the code, you can see that um, now it's got the paragraph tag around it. And so the text align center can get applied to that whole section. If, if you don't have that paragraph around it, then um, it won't work. So that's how you send to them once they're already in your post. If they're not already in your post, the easiest way to do it then would be to actually center your cursor before you insert the images. So right now my cursor is over here on the left just by default, but if I center it using this button, uh, the cursor jumps to the middle and then when I add the images, they will automatically be centered in the middle of that line. So the next thing that I want to show you is um, about spacing. So you'll notice that um, these images are pretty much sitting flush next to each other. There's not really uh, just a little bit of space in between each one. Uh, so if I want to space those out, um, there is a way to do that. It used to be easier because it used to be available to you by default in the advanced image settings here. But in WordPress 3.9, they actually removed the feature that we need. Uh, but not to worry, of course, there's a plugin for that. And it's a very lightweight plugin, so you don't have to worry about adding it. It's called Advanced Image Styles. So once you've added the Advanced Image Styles plugin, what you're going to find is once you go to um, the, the Image Details pop up, now you have a couple more options. You have this image border option and image margins. Um, and that's all that this plugin does is just give you these options again. So in this case, we're going to use margins and I'm just going to add some space um, on either side of each image. And whatever number I type in here, it's going to convert it to pixels. So this is going to add 20 pixels to the right of the first image. And I'll do the same on that one, and that'll just space them out a little bit. So there you go, a few little tips and tricks for images. Um, you can check out the blog post on my site for some more information on working with images and aligning images in the post editor. And there's also a free PDF you can download with a bunch of different image tools for finding images, optimizing images, and various other things. And you can get that over on the blog.